Good evening. Kimazi Bwani, uh, Muzwile Chwani, Mtozi Chwani, Mwashibuka Shani, Ichungula Po Mkwai. Today we have another amazing uh, episode and uh, we're going to be talking about a few trending topics in Zambia. Uh, to be precise, we're going to be talking about uh, Elias Monsha's uh, recommendations uh, with regards to how slow the UPND is actually doing things. And then we're also going to talk about Slap D versus the Zambian people, because not so long ago, a lot of Zambians were telling Yama musicians saying, look, it's better to side with the local people and uh, with the majority of Zambians. But a lot of these musicians were saying, you know, it's business. It's all about business. I'm doing business. And this is a once in a lifetime type of situation. So Twitter to a beer. So yeah, we're going to be talking about that. And then we are also going to talk about Simon Mwewalen versus uh, Tasila Lungu versus Davis Mwela, because apparently, you know, Mr. Chitambala Mwewa is not really getting any break. He's got lawsuits after lawsuits. So what will the Zambian people do, especially the UPND? Because at this particular moment, right, uh, Mr. Chitambala Mwewa is affiliated or he is part of the UPND uh, party structures. And, uh, you know, this is one of the reasons why we are going to see what is going to come out of this particular uh, court case because Mr. Mwewa said he has tons of evidence, tons of evidence. So obviously, as the journey keeps on going, right, we are obviously going to find out more information with regards to uh, everything that was being talked about. So I personally cannot wait. And then we are also going to talk about the former ZRA Commissioner General, who, you know, just recently uh, got fired. And I don't really want to use the word fired because the word fired, uh, I don't know, it just has like a negative connotation towards it. So I'm just going to say he, uh, he got replaced. He got replaced by another named individual, but he had a very nice uh, message uh, that he gave. So basically, these are the topics that we are going to uh, talk about today. So before we jump into today's topic, you guys already know the business. You guys already know the tradition. Mufino very much to share in our video. You just have to share this video right now. So to all the people watching me right now, kindly take one second share this video because it what i'm gonna move into finger and later on you guys are going to be part of this live stream because i really want you to be part of this live stream because we're going to be talking about a lot of topics so later on i'm going to be sharing the link where you guys can actually join and be part of the live stream so can you hear me loud and clear if you don't figure out because i had to uh you know change a few settings here and there so just tell so before I jump into today's episode, uh, first let's take a musical break. But no, no, while you're sharing this, so while we're listening to this music, share this video right now on your timeline and post it in different groups before the tramba. If you touch it, it's in me. If you touch it, it's in no no booty. I'm a drop it, I'm windy. I'm a drop it, I'm a no no material. She liar to pay me shot. I went shot for some. Mm mm. I'm a to Eh, so I can break up. By the way, I've got a question for you. But Danny, can I better than that? Twenty twenty. Tell me, ngabaka fika konomba. Danny Kaya is already 2021. We need another re uh, we need another song. You know, we need another update to this particular song because apparently 2020, 2021. So that would be like a very nice follow-up. Maybe he can do something like 2030. So yeah, big shout out to everybody watching me right now. And uh yeah, so these are the com the, the comments which are ro rolling through. If you want to be part of the you know, discussion, you can always uh, add your contribution here. So without further ado, I really hope that now Mr. Shea, let's uh, proceed and let's listen to Dr. Elias Munsha. Hmm? This was an election. 
in an election kwali baba wina na balusa nomba ngamwalusa election ke kukonka nyapo kona kalimo ni momwa wina iyo bane eh <laughs> pero ya kakana ke kukonka nyapo iyo ukuchita kona kalimo ni momwa wina mwe balusa kaidi eh Efe kwa vela ruling party na opposition party ruling party APK chalo aba wina ma elections eba kuteke chalo efe chava ngachinsha ngachinsha twa ilire kuma elect tari kuya mukusala ba kuteka nomba ko twasa na kaire ati bateke tabare teka nishi 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 nindo Yeah, so that was uh, Dr. Munsha. And uh, it seems people are running out of patience at this particular moment because you know, when is it going to be our time? And uh, Zambians are saying that the current patriotic front uh, cadres, sympathizers who are occupying uh, very vital positions in in government are sort of uh, you know but they are now they into but into but they into So as I'm a Zambians, I want to hear from you. Do you agree with Dr. Elias Munsha? Are they taking it so, so casually? You know, they think they've got time. So do you agree with Dr. Elias Munsha with regards, uh, you know, to the pace that UPND is actually taking with regards to overhauling the system so do you think it is a great idea to change our want to also wake up our news so that if into feed a bomba fast day the first day the please munja become my comment section below uh i can see the comments coming through and uh thank you thank you thank you so people are saying the voice is just okay so na totera sana na totera sana for the feedback so let's listen to one more opinion of uh dr Elias Munsha. Yeah. Uh, finger phone date to move on to so Munji Redeco. So here's another. Stop Nangani. Hm? Well, if we have a UPND, Kabiri Mubike, Pobu Nangani. Pobu Nangani. Moavika, Pobu Nangani. Okunangana Nangana. If into Fia Nangana. <laughs> no. No. Tu akana. So, uh, Dr. Munsha Vakana clearly, and uh, at this particular moment, right? By UPND, we need some time and uh, it's going to be costly and all that stuff. But according to Dr. Munsha, right, he says, if you stick a movie out of your own saying, I've changed over with Deco, fiance could change. So it's part of the process. Uh, according to this information that I'm getting from you guys, right? Like, for example, Collins uh, Sishenio says Dr. Munsha is right. Then Alec Chanda says, I agree with him very much. Uh, Patrick Kasongo says, next, we want Ntewewe also on that platform. So, yeah, who's Ntewewe? Eh, but the way we talk to my baby, talk to us, I is a panani. Uh, but the platform, but no, we are not greedy. Uh, we are always welcoming. Uh, Joyce says, "True, they are too slow." Uh, Timo says, "Dr. Munsha said the truth, one hundred percent." Ernest says, uh, "Yes, I agree with him." Uh, Divino says, "It's about time to work." Uh, it, it, well, it seems one time they start agreeing about Dr. Munsha. So, uh, by UPND, in, in case you didn't really get the the memo, right? A lot of Zambians are looking forward to having change uh, with regards to how things are done across the board. So, obviously, a lot of uh, Zambians, you know, about two point eight, spent a lot of uh, time and 
effort to ensure that things are done in a different way. So this time around, right? The 2011, 2016, uh, especially 2011, where we saw the transition of MMD to PF. Okay, so what happened that particular time, right? Around that particular time, a lot of people who were very prominent in the MMD era so of migrated towards the pf and they became very influential so this time around right i'm a zambians but they done that no therefore total change because we voted for people to change and for us to have like a new system so it doesn't really make any sense it's like very re redundant having the same people uh and but in actual reality, so at least uh, according to the feedback that I'm getting you that I'm getting from you guys, because we are a democratic, uh, you know, platform, it seems a lot of you are very, very, um, you know, you are agreeing with this particular notion. So it seems Dr. Munsha is on the right side of history as well, because, you know, Dr. Munsha is a very interesting, uh, you know, influencer, uh, leader and, uh, you know, uh, somebody who's got original thoughts and he always sides with the people and he's always on the right track. Most of the times he's always right, like most of the times. Even when it came to Bill 10, when it came to a lot of different uh, issues, he's a very wise person and he loves simplifying things. So it really seems uh, he's carrying the sentiments of many Zambians, you know. So he's a very brave person, you know, because he's one, he's the first one to spearhead this campaign of saying, it's already been two months, stop sleeping. So it really seems, according to your information, when my Zambians, when my data, but you are agreeing with Dr. Munsha. So hopefully, but you PND and Dharma structures, Kunta and Shibala, Tumfa, and you know, because we need to set the chain rolling already. And we don't really have a lot of time. So, uh, so Banda says, uh, Dr. Munsha is right. We cannot only change the president. We also need to change the government. Uh, Nicholas says, yes, everything must be changed. Uh, why are they waiting? What are they waiting for? Okay. So, uh, Movita says, oh yeah, time isn't with us. 100% Dr. Munsha is on point. Uh, give him time to change everything. Time is running out. So you guys are absolutely agreeing with Dr. Munsha. So while you PND, give the people of Zambia what they want. And this time around, I'm a Zambians. Because they are not going to condone and allow all the mistakes that we experienced in the past. Because at this particular moment, right, Zambians have got a lot of experience with regards to having a democratic way of doing things because we've already had UNIP, We've already had MMD, we already had uh, PF, and now we are being ruled, or rather being governed by the UPND. And uh, Zambians already understand how the game is played. So, apama Zambians na balanda lista. Kuri vya kuwa ti wadimu PF wa join by UPND because you are the rotten people. Mwe mwe ba vula. If you know what I mean. So yeah. Uh, okay. So anyway, moving on. You guys have done very well. I really love your you know, participation and uh, so it really seems everybody is agreeing with Dr. Munsha. So uh, Izu says the president is too soft. Okay. Uh, Divino says even God, when he ordered his people to take over the land, he commanded that they destroy everything. Never intermingle with the enemy. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so Dr. Munsha is right once more. So let's listen to another song while I, uh, you know, prepare the next uh, presentation or video. So that was P 
DJ. Unfortunately, I can't really play the whole song because I'm going to have uh, copyright issues because I'm also streaming on YouTube. But also, uh, I also want to get monetized on uh, YouTube. By the way, if you are watching me, please head over to YouTube, subscribe to Z Corner because, come on, guys, uh, at least I'm on YouTube. I'm going to monetize. I'm going to get monetized. But Facebook is very free. So if you are on YouTube, just search for Z Corner and subscribe to our to our YouTube channel because we also have uh, content coming through on YouTube as well. So now moving on, let's talk about Dr. Kingsley Chanda. So a lot of Zambians were advocating for his uh, sort of uh, contract termination because he was affiliated with the Patriotic Front. However, a lot of Zambians have also praised Dr. Kingsley Chanda because he really improved ZRA. And to be honest with you, right, uh, you know, I had the privilege of... Uh, registering and uh, being able to submit my tax information using the website. So over the past years, right, because uh, Dr. Kingsley Chanda was uh, appointed the Commissioner General of ZRA in 2016. And uh, to be honest with you, the platform has really improved, especially with regards to having access to ZRA documentations and the whole workflow with regards to everything that you need to do in order for you to set up your uh, you know, ZRA legal documentation. So I just want to give him a round of applause with regards to digitization. And one thing that Dr. Kingsley Chanda obviously advocated for was minimizing I'm a smuggler, I'm a smuggling. He's done a very recommendable job. But of course, at this particular moment, right, a lot of Zambians are looking forward to having a whole overhaul with regards to the whole entire system so unfortunately as much as i would or rather as much as i personally was uh rooting for uh dr kingsley chanda due to the fact that he's a very professional guy obviously in the private sector he's done tremendous things you know but i understand his time is up for this particular moment. And uh, due to the fact that the Commissioner General's position uh, is a very political type of position. So, you know, when it comes to these things, right? Uh, and then it's also time to give uh, to give other people uh, opportunity to also perform very well. So just because he did a very great job, right? It doesn't, it doesn't really mean that we can't change uh, him and uh, put some other, uh, you know, person cause we can always bring him back. So I really enjoyed his uh farewell message because he really portrayed uh maturity because he's not really bitter you know he he's not really one of those bitter people because to be honest with you dr kingsley chanda very bella very mouthful bad not if you're going to uh we've got to take one dollar stuff because his private business is very very powerful it was lucrative even before he he got appointed as the commissioner general so uh dr kingsley chanda he's going to be very good he's going to be fine uh his businesses are going to be booming as usual and uh, he is overall a very good professional but of course when it comes to these things right uh it's very easy to get entangled uh with the firma politics see and you can also get mixed up so sometimes uh like you have to spit out everything and unfortunately uh dr kingsley chanda had to be relieved off of his duties because uh you know quite a stuff. but regardless he's uh, a very very capable man and uh, i loved what he did as far as zra is concerned so please let me know what do you think about dr kingsley's uh dr kingsley chanda's uh dismissal and uh what what are your overall thoughts with regards to how he was you know able to handle the whole zra situation so what rating would he would you give him out of 10 so out of 10 but dr kingsley chanter so please let me know and i'm going to be reading your comments so for now let's listen to what he said this was a very powerful farewell uh message and i really thought this was very very mature of him and uh, this is what winners do I want to have a spirit of abundance, a mindset of abundance. You know, tama basa na bit. No manga ya kwati. You're very greedy. Ku furuafe na furuafe. But according to what he did, man, this was some powerful stuff. You know, we need to see more of uh, such. So anyway, let me stop talking. <laughs> Today I'm extremely delighted. Rwanda is important institution. 
to Mr. Dingan Banda. I'm delighted because I'm handing over a robust and vibrant tax authority to someone I employed in the authority in January 2004 as Assistant Commissioner Data Management and Intelligence to help ZRS successfully implement tax product. And I'm happy that he alluded to that. Analogically, on Friday last week, President Haka in the Hitchlema gave Mr. Banda keys for a fully refurbished bus with 2,300 people carrying good food for a party with 18 million people in another town. He instructed you, Mr. Banda, to drive that vehicle, deliver the food, and have a good party with 18 million people waiting. Your bus has a steering wheel, a hooter, windscreen, rear view mirrors, and accelerator, among other accessories. Therefore, for you to reach your destination where 18 million people are waiting, you must use less of the rear view mirror and the hooter. If you focus in the rear view mirror, you will crash. Kill the passengers, destroy the bus, and the party will not take place. If you overuse the hooter, the noise will irritate both the passengers and the other motorists on the road. That bus is the ZRI. The passengers are your staff. They are 2,300 right now. The food is the revenue the 18 million people who are Zambians are waiting for through government to provide services of public goods. Your rear view mirror depicts your past frustrations and differences with your team members at ZRI. To avoid crashing, focus on your wheel, on your steering wheel, focus on your front windscreen, your accelerator, and your brakes. Yes, check the rear view mirror and use the hooter when it is absolutely necessary. Your hooter, learn when to speak and when to keep quiet. Never respond to social media, but focus what, on what the president has tasked you to do. Ge generate revenue for 18 million Zambians. Show leadership and never make emotional decisions when dealing with your staff and taxpayers. Always remember that not everyone will like you, but that, that, but that doesn't matter. You are not in a popularity contest. You are not in a beauty contest. In fact, if you become popular among smugglers and tax evaders, Zambians must be worried. I know when my contract was terminated on Friday, there were celebrations in Akonde, Chirundu, and Kazungula among smugglers. That was good feedback for me, but show them that you won't tolerate this matter. As a leader, you must like everyone due to the value they are bringing to the organization. Trust me, I've proved this in my five years at ZRN. There's a lot of value in unity despite our diversity as ZRN employees. Foster genuine unity and teamwork. If you start picking up battles with your staff and taxpayers, you won't succeed in delivering revenue. Please, use the immense power and authority in the office of the Commissioner General to build ZRA and not to destroy it. In the event that you find a mistake that I made during the course of my work based on the facts I had at the time, please just correct it. Don't use it as an excuse for your failure and continue seeing about it in public. There is a limit to which you can blame me or indeed any predecessor for your failure beyond which that limit people start questioning your capacity. I've left you with all the tools you need to change anything, but please do not change what is working because you destabilize the institution and revenues will respond negatively. As I said earlier, I'm leaving you with a robust and vibrant ZRA. I'm also... Okay, so uh, that was uh, Dr. Kingsley uh, Chanda's uh, farewell message and uh, to be honest i i've never seen that uh you know done in zambia and uh it really shows how uh you know open minded he is i've i've never seen this happen before whereby uh, if suma wishes the, the next people good luck they even give them advice so to me that was like uh breathtaking and uh you know and uh, just like i told you right 
he is a capable man and uh, wherever he's going to go right is he's definitely going to leave a very good mark uh so yeah uh peter chikampa says uh, sometimes i fail to understand why things are like that we have a lot of qualified people languishing in society i do not know uh how it's hard to remove these people in some of the key positions after they have already tested or rather benefited and pocketed some resources politicians shouldn't forget majority are the one who put and remove opposition and they are now boasting and fooling that they are still active in governing. So basically what Peter says is uh, everybody has to be given an opportunity to show how great they are and just basically how much of a good job they can be able to deliver. And I definitely agree with Peter, you know, because we have a lot of graduates coming through and we also have like a lot of manpower which hasn't been tapped which hasn't been harnessed you know so there isn't any reason to keep the same people oc oc occupying the same spaces especially due to the fact that at least but got a chance like an opportunity so at least uh, due to the fact that we've got a lot of uh, people waiting on the line to show what they can do we need to you know reshuffle and give other people as well the quality uh, no matter how good you are you should stay pamupando forever no, we should be able to like uh, you know give opportunity to other people so that they can also be great as well even for dr kingsley chanda right in order for him to showcase his prowess somebody left room for him and uh, he was given an opportunity if you know what i mean so uh, just because we change and we put some other people it doesn't really mean that we are so over uh, throwing him in the trash and that stuff because he can easily be given another the opportunity elsewhere so these are the things that we are supposed to be talking about so anyhow once more about in damba at this particular moment right i want to open the flow to you <clears throat> so that your voice can also be added because eh, by the end of it or oh, is she platform chavena zambia z corner is for you if you've got anything that you would love to talk about and basically vent of course you have to stay within the confinement of our you know topic so basically today we talked about uh dr elias Munsha. we also talked about um uh dr kingsley chanda and then we're now we're going to talk about uh slab d so while you guys are preparing uh i posted the link in the comment section below so if you want to be part of this particular conversation use the link in the comment section below so let me just post it one more time so that you can be part of the conversation uh, today so that we hear your opinion so uh people are giving dr kingsley chanda uh marks and uh latin e sikasula says seven out of ten so dr kingsley chanda got seven Seven out of ten, according to Latin, uh, Latin e Sicaola. Francis Kogwe says eight out of ten. Uh, Charlie Geoffrey says uh, ten out of ten. So basically, you guys are really, really giving him very good results. And this is what we want. You know, we want the people of Zambia to rate you. And we also want people of uh, the people of Zambia to have like a very democratic way of reasoning. So I'm really loving the feedback that you are giving me. And uh, hopefully Dr. Kingsley, Kingsley Chanda is going to watch this video. And he's going to know that the people of Zambia you know we're very proud of uh, his work we're very happy not to but at that particular umupando it has uh, transitioned to another person but regardless we still really love and adore his work so yeah um Alex Shanda further says uh, the dismissal of Kingsley was a right move uh all right, the dismissal of uh, Kingsley was a right move. Concern the Kokola Alasanguka family member. All right, okay, cool. We got it. Uh, Nyambe says uh, six out of ten, he became too political. Okay. Uh, Kasali Matipa says former minister of Luapula, Mr. Chilengwa, did it. Classy. Ah, all right. Okay. So he's uh, referring to uh, a very good farewell. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kasali, for that uh, uh, reminder. 
Uh, Derek says, uh, when people are removed from their positions, that's when they realize the importance of the people they should have served diligently. Now, this is a very great point from Derek because by the end of it all, right, if we're not really getting to reshuffle and change people, right, I want to work at FCC and Mofe. You know, work at FCC and Mofe, and people are going to get complacent. You know, we need to have a system whereby people are sitting on the edge and uh, knowing that if uh, if I make any mistake, if I don't produce results, that's the type of mentality so that we can have the urge to produce the best results. So therefore, a situation here, you are too comfortable, you know? So this is a very great point uh, by Derek. So I do agree with him. Uh, Emmanuel Mwila says one out of 10, but you could have uh, given us your reasons why you are giving him a one out of 10. Uh, Derek now uh, further says uh, four out of 10. Uh, Capello says, I'm so disappointed with my fellow Zambians concerning the post and comment towards Slab D. We all error and no one is perfect, not even one. As you know, music is a business and Slab D and other artists who did political songs shouldn't be blamed for their actions. They did that for survival. You are all aware how harsh our economy was in previous government and if if you also had the chance of doing it you would have done the same let us support our artists and put zambian music uh obviously first okay so uh well i do agree with you capella and i also do disagree with you because by the end of it all right just because something is a business it doesn't really mean that you should uh be on the wrong side of history and you should side with uh, you know the people who are being unethical because to be honest with you right the patriotic front uh did a lot of atrocities to zambians so it doesn't really make sense just because you want to eat that you should be promoting things that are sort of uh, infringing other people you know, let's say, for example, even slavery, slavery was a good business. And, uh, you know, people who were uh, doing slave trade, they were making money. So just because you have to survive and you have to do what you have to do, it means uh, you should promote something which is immoral. You know, you know what I'm saying? And just like they say, right, you should always side with people. This is one thing that I uh, have come to learn about life. Always side with people and always be on the wrong side, always be on the right side of any situation, okay? Just because you're getting paid and all that stuff, it doesn't really mean that you have to do it. Moreover, these guys are already established. It's not like uh, I understand for people like uh, Chandanake, these guys just got into the game. You know, I understand, but you know, people like Mark, uh, Mark, uh, Mark, uh, Mark Two, Slap D, these guys have got money, you know. So, <laughs> you know, them doing this type of thing, you know, it it it, it just really so sort of, uh, disappointed me because uh, as much as it is business, right, we have to be very ethical. We have to be mindful of how other people feel, and moreover. Okay, body bangem pia shira shino shobare for that, right? Do you know that they still have about 20 years, 10 years left, uh, you know, for their careers to sort of subside? And who are they going to be going to? They're going to be going to Ama Zambians. And by the way, the majority of people that really support their careers are Zambians. Ama politicians, and if you're a fine during Ama campaigns, you have a pedacle starter, now we a starter, you have a lot of But if you look at the longevity, if you look at the long term perspective, they are going to be relying on Zambians more and the majority of Zambians by the way I'm a Zambian if you look at Mark D Slap D the people of Zambians were the ones who actually made their careers you know so they can still survive and do very well regardless of them uh doing that business and you know just being part of that and and to be honest these guys knew what, what they were doing they knew the sentiments of Zambians and you had to okay if you know if you are just doing it for the check so to me I would rather side with the people and uh do business with uh, uh, the majority of people because by the end of it all right if you have a lot of zambians giving you one dollar if you've got 
other Nyama Zambians giving you one dollar, right? You're going to make money in the long term uh, compared to being paid once or twice. Well, for the it doesn't really make any sense. I would rather pay get paid, to no, no, but in a prolonged period of time. And uh, I would rather, you know, do something that my heart and my conscience is going to be very uh, comfortable with. So it's, it's not always about business. You know, there's good business and there's bad business. If we all have the mentality of saying it's, it's just about business, then tomorrow, you can actually kill your mom. You can sell your mom and you can, you know, you can do despicable things saying it's just business. I think there has to be like a like like a fine line between business and morality and just being able to, like, do the right thing. Yeah, you, you get my point, but I understand they did what they had, uh, what they had to do and all that stuff. So it is what it is. Uh, anyway, uh, let's listen to one more song uh, while I prepare the next uh, video. So let's listen to our very own Beyonce, Esther Chungu, Jehovah. This is a very good song, you know, like especially for about the gospel. <laughs> for about the gospel, this is a very great song by Esther Chungu. Yeah, so that was uh, Esther Chungu Jehovah. Unfortunately, I can't play the whole song because I'll get demonetized. So anyhow, uh, let's uh, let's continue talking about Tama musicians because there's this funny clip that I saw. <laughs> this was a meme, actually. So please let me know. Are you going to forgive Slab D, Mark II, Avena Yo Maps, and all that stuff? Are you going to forgive them and, uh, you know, be patriotic and support them? So please let me know. Let me know. Uh, um, oh, by the way, uh, um, all right, I'm receiving a message. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, I got side, uh, sidetracked because I'm receiving some messages right now. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, let me play this clip right now. Uh, about uh, Avena Slab, it's just a meme <laughs> talking about I'm a business, I'm a business. My day in the Philippines. So, in the meantime, I want you to let me know whether you are going to be, you know, supporting these musicians, whether now Mufila Bako it already happened like a while back, uh, and, and all that stuff. So, yeah, let me know what you think about the whole situation. Do slap D and all these people, have you forgiven them? Or you guys are still petty, or you're trying to show them, like, uh, you know, the power of people. So please let me know what your attitude towards the I'm a PF musicians, the Kalandania people. Please let me know whether you have already decided to move on, campaigns are over, and you're going to be supporting them. So let's listen to this. Another one. Why does not why? This is business. This is my sweat. I know, but I did business. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> this is business. Hey! Hey! Dada. Huh? Why? Business. Oh. <laughs> so to be to be honest, Karanze Kishasana, you know, especially the way the the the, the this man says, this is business. <laughs> So yeah, let me play one more time because it's, it's, it's so funny. This is basically what these people were telling us. Avena your maps, Avena slap, D, Avena Mac two. This is business. So yeah, let's listen to this. Dada, why? Why, Dada, why? This is business. This is my sweat. I know, but I did business. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> this is business. Hey, hey, Dada, why? Business. <laughs> so yes, is it business as usual or Amazambians you for for forgiven them? Uh so Emmanuel Mwila says uh Soli Nile Sawas wa Saride Kaspa Turimu Turimuchovo Sha Cape Town. Okay, so it seems uh Emmanuel Mwila hasn't forgiven them. 
Okay, so Alec Chanda says, I can't vote for Slab D because voting is business. Okay, okay, I see. I see, uh, you know, Zambians being petty. Okay, uh, Viora uh, Mayova says that terrorism is also a business. Don't support lawlessness as a way to make money. I do agree. I definitely do agree with uh, Mrs. Mayova. Okay, so... Um, what else do we have here? So Chris Cateola says, no, they did nothing wrong. What those artists did, why are TV or radio stations that promoted the former government not have backlash? Why are people not angry with the TV stations or the radio stations that promoted those? All right, so Chris, that is also like a very good, uh, you know, devil's advocate type, type of approach. So yeah, that, that does make some sense. It does make some sense as well. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about Chris's uh, contribution. Joseph says following... Um, what else do we have here? Uh, Francis says, I respect your opinion, but what they did doesn't mean we should hate them. Okay, yeah, it, it doesn't really mean that Zambians hate them. They're just, you know, probably saying that, uh, you know, since you, you didn't side with us, we're also not going to side with you, you know? So that's basically what Zambians are saying. Uh, okay, so... Um, uh, Latin Sikasulu says they are still our brothers. Uh, they need our support. I forget and forgive them. Okay. So, you know, we're having some mixed, uh, type of, uh, opinions here. Some people are for the idea of, uh, I mean, we can get to support them a little bit later. We'll get back to supporting them a little bit later, but for now they should just feel that, okay, next time Amazambians won't be able to like, uh, you know, have our back. So this actually goes out to other musicians as well. Well, this should serve uh, as uh, a lesson. Always side with the people. Always side with the majority and always be on the ethical side of whatever situations. You know, not all money is money, you know. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. So, Peña Spree says, it's not fair. Just vote our lo for our local musicians, probably. Charlie Joffrey says, learn to forgive and forget King Diesel. I uh, have already given you my vote. Okay, so entertainment is money-making industry. Therefore, treat uh, treat it as such. If it's not pleasant to your test, by all means, don't support them. They are traitors, period. So people are calling them traitors, saying, uh, Chris says, I like this interactive program. Keep it up. This is my first time here. So yeah, congrats. I mean, welcome, Chris. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Chris. Uh, okay, so Oscar Malambo says, as for me, I can't forgive them, even though... The, uh, as for me, I can't forgive them. Even the song I hate it these days. You see, a lot of people have got this attitude and mentality towards you know these big people. To be honest, uh, they they actually destroyed their legend legacy if i can put it that way you know because people have got that sour test you know like even for me personally this is my opinion at this particular moment right i don't really consider mark too because you know i'm from the copper belt like og original deep jolly copala type of guy grew up on the copper belt so to me at this particular moment you know uh mark two was one of the top artists that i really put like right there but ever since this whole uh situation and the business type of thing and just basically what he did he's really dropped down like you know i i, I even consider Sheffy to be like way much more uh better and uh, superior than mark two so just because of this same situation you know i no longer look at mark two the same you know so i don't know if you do boys you know but anyway that's just my opinion so clever uh, cello says uh, vote for him it's 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 a business my brother uh she also says the guys had and still have the uh influence to speak against the wrong the pf were doing and chose not to uh Likwasi says the irony of all this is a lesson for all of us cause and effect 
Uh, Capella says, it's sad that people think that voting for artists from other countries will make them forget this issue. They are still our brothers and they need to be forgiven. Mr. Presenter, be honest. Do you think it's right voting for someone outside Zambia when we have our very own artists? You know, here the, I, the, 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 the situation is not really about supporting other artists. Here it's all about uh, the, the, the reason why Zambians are voting for Casper Nyovis or other artists is because but in edge Fukushi, because let's flip it. Let's say, for example, PF1, right? If PF1, uh, these guys could have been better off and the majority of Zambians could have been, uh, you know, sort of, uh, so just think about about the other side if pf1 these guys could have been set while the majority of zambians could have been getting harassed uh i'm a freedoms yare chepa and all that stuff so you should also look at it from that aspect as well but yes i do understand eventually uh zambian people including myself will get over it and will begin supporting them but at this at least at, at this particular moment uh you know people are just being a little bit petty you know we're just uh, playing the petty cards so anyway we shall see we shall sing forgive siama says the coin has got two sides they supported the green they brought hell upon our lives now they have to face zambians because they are facing the other side of the coin so yeah, average ticker. Uh to Ubo Boy. We have already voted for King Diesel. Ngaola Ngaola Chula Love. Okay, well, I'm a Juma Mueva Bell, I'm a Bell as Anna. Okay, okay. Uh, Don Nando says, Casper Nyovest. Uh, Irene says, they did nothing wrong. Music and politics shouldn't separate us. Imano says, they should learn from B flow. Uh, he was put in a very awkward place, but he stood his ground. That's what a leader should do. Whether these guys know it or not, they are leading uh, people. I personally think they ruined their careers. Okay, yeah, I do agree with him. I do agree with him. So, Beautiful Souls of Africa says, Wasted vote. All right, so at this particular moment, right, I am asking you to be part of of this episode join the live stream right now and add your thoughts and your contributions towards this particular episode join using the stream right now the flow is open for everybody to join and be part of this live stream so i'll be waiting for people in the next uh, 30 seconds to about one minute so during that particular time right again don't forget music so if you've got any music suggestions, uh, let's listen to our Mac too. give it to me. These were the days when we regarded, uh, you know, Mark II, and especially Mark II, right? I remember that time, uh, quite the 20, uh, 2010. That time he, he he didn't get to win the uh, is it the the awards you know at how 2010 you know the people of Zambia really started supporting him and he blew up you know the people of Zambia were actually behind uh, his success and finally they accepted the Copper Belt people ruling I remember that beef between uh, Mark II and Slap D and uh, it just shows you that his growth or the growth and the popularity of uh, these artists it really began from the Zambian people supporting them okay so if you take a look at their maturity and their growth over this period of time, right? The Zambian people were supporting them. So when you start talking about, yo, it's all about business, all along Zambians were supporting you. 
all along, uh, you know, Zambians were the ones who actually made you to have like a thriving type of career. So why would you turn your back on them and just say, ah, oh, it's all about business now. Ni business. You know, it doesn't really make any sense. So yeah, I'm still waiting for people to join this particular live stream. If you want to be part of the conversation, use the link in the comment section below so let me continue reading your questions uh nicholas b uh siley says uh business they don't mean well to their businesses okay catalina says uh true well done b flow uh true okay uh beautiful souls in africa says funds don't put food on his table and why should we waste our vote exactly now this is a very great point as well you know since funds don't put uh food on his table then why are they going to need them uh francis kawe says no man is an island they should know uh that Thinking about themselves just at that particular time when we needed them to voice out wasn't right. Otherwise, I have nothing against them and I wish Slab D all the best. Okay, so Sakwimba, Sakwimba, welcome to the show. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Uh, he's left, he's left. So if there is anybody who wants to be part of this conversation, the link is in the description. You know, the link is in the comment section below. So Chris says, I don't hate these guys. What they did were political adverse, just like they, uh, just like the private TV stations and radio stations. But I understand that these individuals are easy to target than media houses. But I think it's better. We just don't drag the artists alone but let's let the major houses too, because, oh my goodness, Chris, Jesus, it's hard to read what you typed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris, but, uh, you know, I don't know my typing. Okay, let me try one more time. I don't hit that. I don't hit those guys. What they did were political adverse, just like the private TV stations and radio stations. But I understand that individuals are easy to target than the media houses but i think it's better when we just don't drag the artists uh alone alone but let let's the media houses too because media houses have a greater reach than the artists like on a day-to-day -day basis okay i get what you're saying and i do agree with you chris i do agree sorry for for lashing out on you <laughs> uh milambo says these guys are who they are because of zambian fans Anyway, it's because it's business for me as well. So it seems uh Milambo F Mambo Tabarash <laughs> forgive, you know, still uh still trying to show my artists uh, the people power. It uh ET Megazambia says XYZ for life, slap D. Uh Andrew J. Hakalava says, young man, you are coming up and enlightening on the tennis of democracy, which is to fight for a common good, not a selfish few. Eva was really taking over and the pain was that these musicians were misleading many in the name of me business. No morals or patriotism in them. Watching the country go to ruins in the name of business. Shame. So that's Andrew J. Hakalavo. Uh, Capella says, why are people only dragging artists and leaving out media houses? Don says, we are not going to forgive anyone. Now, if we vote in business. <laughs> okay, so still being petty. Uh, but also UPND had money to pay too. So they had a choice to choose Okay, Sakweva is back one more time. Good evening, hi. Sakweva. How are you doing? Hi, hi, man. Laka, laka. Eh, she me can't do it. I'm going to tell you, Simon. I'm going Which part of Zambia you are? Pakopala. Kitwe? Yeah, man. Pandola. Ah, laka, laka. I'm going to tell you, man. She me can't do it. Let's take a boy. Yeah, in a, what, I, what I would like to say is um, these guys. I think when I just look at Maktou's uh, uh, life lifestyle, okay, this guy is a good guy. Just that ni influence fe kuma like kuba nangui. Mm -hmm. 
because for me, what I can say, like Wadandi Crazy, if you see Dandy Crazy's uh, lifestyle, uh, mm. Wadandi Crazy used to go to Matu's uh, studio. Mm. So if we want to like, they just have to respect us people. Because for me, I, I wouldn't like people to like, uh, to just buy me because um, I'm trying to to make uh, the opposition or the leaders in power. I wouldn't love people to use me like that. I would love to also like inspire people who made me to become who am I today. So mm-hmm. um, for Mark too, ah, Mwandin, Vamdara Mwandin, you know what I can say? Ni sorry Mwandin. That's so much. Uh, all right. Okay. Nga pari ba Kingsi mune tira poshan. Nangu pari ba Dr. Munsha. Do you agree with? Uh, oh, he's already left. Okay, that was quick. All right. Thank you, Sakwimba, for your contribution. So Sakwimba said, uh, you know, uh, he's he's going to be petty, and uh, he would have uh, preferred for the people of well, our musicians to side with Zambians. So if you also want to add your voice to this particular conversation, obviously, vara unfa ko amanan. I'm an artist there, so let them know why you're either going to be supporting them or not supporting them. So that why shiva, because sometimes you know that we should every day stick up and uh, all that stuff. Uh, so she also says, and that, uh, and by the way, Bobby East came. Uh, uh, it's sad. It's just business anyway. Okay, so Chiyaba says X Y Z for life. I'll personally vote for Diesel Che. Uh, Sam Pachianda says Tule Kutika. Okay. Uh, anyway, Chapala Kwati. I'm a voice as Yenu. Na bejo vo mune onfo and all that stuff. Uh, Don Nando says, I think Chef 187 is the best ever. I I don't agree. You know, Chef does show some <laughs> a lot of maturity because, you know, uh, I understand. Like, uh, if you look at Mark 2 and Chef, right? M- Mark 2 is obviously taking a lot of risk and uh, he's learning as he does stuff. But Chef, he has got the blueprint. He knows what not to do, what to do based on the experience of his brother. So, you know... Uh, so if you're not feeling it, but anyway, uh, I don't really care much about that, but I already gave you my opinion with regards to being mindful of the businesses that we venture in. Not all money is good money. And uh, as uh, uh, something that you need to be practicing, right? Always side with people. Do not really think about your selfish gains because longevity is what really matters. It's better getting with my one dollar, to my one quarter, one quarter from a lot of people. And in a long period of time, like in the future, you're guaranteed of getting these, uh, you know, uh, small type of revenues than getting a big chunk and then Kunta and Shuku, you have like a questionable type of future. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion. But I understand, you know, they've got they've got expenses, they've got all that stuff. But these guys are like established artists. You know, they were hurting for money and all that stuff. It's just that. But anyway, we want to know Otherwise, I, I I didn't even want to like uh, make this uh, episode uh, super long because uh, episode takodi sara news apa kuzambia kuri fili fili boring you know a bomb and lusambo no update faith musonda no update as well uh, so we need to you know get some more stuff uh, big man yes big man I left the yeah. first. Eh, matsao, matsao vutuka. Mwana vutuka bulaga wangu wangu. Eh, shimi ke ni tu. There is a question. I think there is a question to ask about Mr. Musha and Mr. Kings Malembe Malembe. Em kwaye. Yes. So, uh for I think for Mr. Elas Musha, ah uh, that man I really love that man. He really educates me. like for me personally, he really educates me. He has been with us, even if in NDC we understand. <laughs> in NDC yeah. we do yeah. understand very well. Um, now, coming for Mr. King's Malembe, uh, 
ah, I, I don't know. Okay, in Zambia, I think we we focus too much in um, media things, but in terms of working, I think for us as youths, we just have to work very hard. We would criticize the government, but we just have to work extra hard. Believe you me, we just have to work extra hard because for me, the kind of job that I do, I work in the field. So I do understand like when I go in the field, I even nainenga kwaliko like na music industry, I would contribute something so that people can hear me out. But unfortunately, I'm not in that industry because for several reasons. Uh, for mm-hmm. Mr. King, one day, I wouldn't comment very much. Uh, I think I'll leave it to other people to comment. All but right. for Mr. Mm-hmm. Musa, I'm comfortable and I'm cool with him. That man, he really teaches us a lot and we understand. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, if, we if, do understand. If, if it wasn't for uh, Dr. Monsha, I wouldn't have really grasped uh, grasped the idea of uh, Bill 10. Well, what about Dr. Yeah, Monsha? Exactly. Bill 10 in Gansha, she be like how evil it was when it came to like delimitation of constituencies and that stuff because he's got an approach that really simplifies everything. That's one thing that I love about Dr. Monsha. He loves simplifying things so that once a bound for why should we finish? Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. and by the way, Quick reminder to everybody watching us, uh, Backway to TV is going to be on, uh, it's going to be on uh, KBN Network, uh, is, is uh, going via satellite and all that stuff. So uh, be able to join them uh, on KBN Network. They'll be on DSTV and all that stuff. So you can watch them uh, via your TV station, via DSTV. So yeah, I just want to give a big shout out to TV Backway 2 and the whole entire team. Once I've been Linda Banks, everybody, Mukelavai, Mukelavai, and all those people, they do like a very great job. So, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, to have Pariba Kingsley Chanda Tamara and Deposanaka. Mulet and Togapa Shan Padi, Mr. Stambala Mwewa, aka Simon Mwewa Len, versus Tasila versus Davis Muller, like all these lawsuits. What's your opinion on that? For Mr. Stambala, I think, me personally, I wouldn't uh, comment on those issues because they are not our issues as youths. Uh, we can just leave Mr. Chitambala and Madam Tasila to just iron that issue out in the court. Um, that's what I can say for me, for Mr. Chitambala. But mm. I would just encourage other youths, Abadipa Media, let's utilize media for our good purposes, not to kulachita misbehave by social media. For that, I'm against that. When I think it was a good move for them to introduce Saibalo because many people used to misbehave on media. So mm-hmm. on that one, I would say let's not just like my issues Let them iron their issue. But mm-hmm. for for our fellow youths, please, please, let's work extra hard because Time is not with us. We just have to work extra hard. That's what I wanted to say. And have a lovely evening. And then you can just leave other people to comment as well. You are more, uh, you are more of a man than some of us. <laughs> so yeah, big shout out to uh, uh, Percy Chama. He's part of uh, TV Vakwetu. So yes, remember TV Vakwetu. You guys do a very lovely job, and uh, Zambians watch you on a daily basis. Every time in the evening, we always make sure that we drop everything that we're doing because we look forward to hearing in your opinions and just like i told you you always have like a way of uh, simplifying complicated things so just want to give a shout out to uh Percy chama of uh, tv vakwetu and all the respective uh, panelists on tv vakwetu and just like you heard from uh mr sakwimba who just left uh you know zambians really appreciate the effort and uh you know all the times that you uh, spend explaining all these things so to attach a sign about percy mukonka nyepo keep on representing us very well so anyway without further ado 
Hope on our Pisha if you pain. I don't want to make this extra long. Today is a very slow news day. Like what if you man newsy and all that stuff? So just like Sakwimba said, as Zambian youths, we need to focus on relevant things. At the fire, if you if you have a nani irrelevant and you know just doing despicable things. So I really agree with uh you know Sakwimba who just left. So anyway. Uh, Mulale, we know if we ever go para to our own send them up, but we're going to watch TV. We're going to the Europa KBN, then foot in a Pama and a Pama what's uh Pama Facebook, na pena to Araba Tamba, because these guys really do need our support and they always side with the people of Zambia. So, uh, I think before that, I'll understand if I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, there's going to be some interesting news. And uh, thank you for supporting me as well. Now, I thought that I for all the people that commented, all the people that shared this broadcast. Now, I thought that I I really hope that I'm going to be improving and I'm going to be doing better. Uh, you know, so that's all I had for you today. It's been your presenter, Muna, aka Mnalula Mnalula. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow, 8 p.m. as usual, 20 hours, Zambian time, Central African time, all that good stuff. So remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel, our YouTube channel on uh, YouTube. Just uh, type Z corner and you guys are going to be able to like see our, uh, you know, videos. Go there, subscribe to, to us as well. That would really mean a whole lot. So thank you very much. Have a great time. Have a great evening. Be blessed. And remember, keep on hustling and put God first.